para na dosom or yung puso ng stunting mo. So, may story tayo dyan. Welcome to my channel and for today's video, I'm going to share you my recipe on how I prepare my pork belly for the crispy pork belly in peanut sauce too, or in short we call that in the Philippines, kare kare. And it's simple, very easy, very affordable. So let's start! So for the ingredients, we will be needing 1 teaspoon peppercorns, uh, one tablespoon of uh, salt, a half a medium size of onion cut into quarter, two to three pieces of bay leaves, and one kilo of uh, pork belly. Uh, and we will also be needing uh, six cups of water in the pot. So let's put the pork here and all the ingredients. So we already put the pork in the water and then now we will put the salt, the peppercorn, the bay leaves, and the onions. And now we will wait for it to simmer or to boil and then let, we will be back like after like 15 to 20 minutes so let's see so guys after 15 or 25 minutes so ayan na siya and it's boiling so kailangan natin alisin yung mga ganito yung parang ano daw siya eh um, Hindi ko alam kung anong tawag sa kanya, pero kailangan natin alisin itong mga ganyan. So, mga ilang minutes pa siguro, eh, para malaman natin if malambot na yung pork belly natin, tusukin natin siya ng pork. If, I think hindi pa ito masyado. Needs more cooking. Yeah, needs more cooking. Ma so basically, ang cooking time nito is around 30 to 40 minutes in a high heat. So, ooh, I think pwede na siya. Yeah, pwede na siya. Now, we will be needing this, so a wrap and then parchment paper para madrain yung um, pork belly. Okay. Ito transfer natin tong pork belly dito sa rack. So, after madry siya or mag-cool down na yung pork belly, pwede nyo na siyang ilagay sa freezer or i-fridge. Basta mag-cool down muna siya. So, what I usually do is, so, after ko siyang, so, if it, after niya mag-cool down, lalagay ko siya sa freezer para pag, every, every time na kailangan ko ng, uh, Pork or gusto kong gawa ng crispy pork belly or crispy pork binagoongan, kunin ko lang siya tapos ilalagay ko siya sa air fryer. So, para sa mga may air fryer dyan, maganda siyang recipe kasi so, sobrang isa lang hindi mo kailangan ng maraming mantika, wala ng talimsik or whatsoever. So, perfect siya. showed you on how I prepare or pre-boiled my pork belly on the first 
part of the video and now I'm going to show you on how I cook the sauce, the stew. And so, let's begin. For the sauce, we will be needing one medium onion, chopped, five cloves of garlic, chopped, one fourth cup glutinous rice flour, one teaspoon annatto powder, two pieces nor pork cubes, one eggplant sliced, string beans, bok choy, and the pork belly. It's a half a kilo or one pound pork belly, pre-boiled and frozen. Let's start the cooking! Now guys, kailangan natin i-preheat yung air fryer natin para dun sa pork belly natin para siya maging crispy. Actually, pwede din naman siyang i-deep uh, i fry pero mas, mas prefer ko yung gamitin yung air fryer kasi less oily siya para hindi siya masyadong oily dun sa karikat. So now guys, uh, na preheat ko na yung air fryer ngayon, ilalagay na natin yung mga pork belly. So guys, ito na yung pork belly natin at uh, 390 degree Fahrenheit. So maybe around 22 to 25 minutes and dito check ulit natin siya if crispy na siya and ready to go na. Guys, while waiting for the pork belly, ilulutuin na natin yung sauce. Now we will put some oil. Pagay tayo ng oil. And then, isusote natin yung onion and garlic. We will put in the onions. Next is the garlic. We will put uh, four cups of water. Then, inalagay na natin tong pork cubes. Hintayin lang natin siyang uh, kumulo and then after that, we will be putting the peanut butter. Now na nagbuboy na siya, inalagay na natin ang peanut butter. natin siya. After nyan, ilalagay natin yung anato powder. Dinilute ko siya sa 2 tablespoon ng water. Don't worry if may run pa siyang mga bubong. Uh, anato powder, malulusaw din yan. Don't worry. Now guys, ito check naman natin if kamusta na yung uh, pork belly natin. Wow! Yeah. I think pwede na siya. Yeah. So, now, kumukulo na siya. O diba, nalusaw yung anato powder. Ngayon, ilalagay naman natin yung um, glutinous rice flour. Dinilute ko nga pala siya sa 3 tablespoon ng water. So, Kailangan natin ng isang pang pan para naman i-sauté yung uh, eggplant, string beans, and dabok choy. Para i-fry ang eggplant, kakailangan ng 3 tablespoon ng butter. So, kailangan lang natin i-melt yung butter. Ilit na yung butter, ilalagay na natin yung eggplant. Ipa-fry na natin siya.
So, after natin ma-fry ang eggplant, so, magdadalit tayo ng butter. Ayan. And then, ilalagay na natin ang string beans. Ipapry lang natin siya parang itong eggplant. Ayan. So, after nung string beans and uh, eggplant, ipapry naman natin ngayon is yung uh, bok choy. So, yung binigin butter. Alam ko, masyadong madami yung butter. There you go. dapat meron siyang banana blossom or yung puso ng saging. So, may istorya tayo dyan. So, I've been to like, to seven. Seven stores. So, two Asian supermarket stores. So, I've been to TNT and H Mart. And then, two Filipino stores. Um, Masagana and Bayanihan Trading. And then, I've been to um, Walmart, uh, what's this, No Frills, and Superstore. Wala lahat silang puso ng saging. So, sabi, at first sabi ko, pwede na yung frozen or yung can. Kasi wala talaga akong mahanap na fresh. So, so instead of puso ng saging, ang nabili ko. Hmm. Saging na saba. Mm. Saging na saba. So, wala talaga akong mahanap na fresh na puso ng saging. Wala din canned or wala din frozen. Meron man canned. Order ako sa Amazon. At guess what, guys? $20 for two cans. Actually, nagtingin ako sa superstore kanina. Ang isang can ng puso ng saging is $1.88. Compared to like if I order at Amazon, it would be twenty dollars for two can. So no way. So, pwede naman na yung kari kare kahit wala siyang puso ng sagi. Hindi naman magagalit ang kari kare. So, so guys, pag nakita niyo na na maganda yung consistency, parang ganito or it bet niyo na yung consistency na gusto niyo. So ayan, pwede na siya. Eto na yung sauce and then mag-assemble na tayo! And then, let's eat! So now, guys, i-chop na natin yung pork belly. Ooh, hindi nyo umuusok pa siya. So, Queenie, eat it! So, Queen, you have your treat now. 